Question, why can't we make Grignard reagents in water? Why does it have to be in what we call dry ether, or rather just ether? Well, the answer is that the Grignard reagent itself will react with water faster than it'll react with almost anything else. Here we have the alkyl halide, any length carbon chain, any halogen. I prefer bromine. Some people prefer iodine. I don't care what you prefer as long as it's a halogen. The magnesium will insert itself in between the two atoms. We have R, M, G, X. Now, M, G is a metal. It loves donating electrons. This is a halogen. It is hungry for electrons, a.k.a. electronegative. It gets a little delta minus. M, G gets a little delta plus. And because M, G is a fantastic donator of electrons, another way to put that is R has a higher... Or carbon has a higher electronegativity than magnesium, it actually becomes delta minus. Textbooks will tell you over and over and over again that you can treat it as though it's R with a lone pair of electrons because this is very nucleophilic. It will attack things that have a delta plus attached to it. Thus, if you put magnesium with an alkyl halide in any solution, you should end up with RMGX, the magnesium between the carbon and the halogen. But the problem is that that alkyl group, which again is the same as R minus or R with a lone pair of electrons on it, will simply attack one of the H's, steal it as though it was a Bronsted Lowry base, and you'll end up with RH. That's just a regular old alkane. That's not super useful in all these organic chemistry reactions. We want a nucleophile. We want a nucleophile like that guy. We don't want a regular alkane. You will end up with OH minus, but that OH minus is likely to attach to the magnesium. Now, realistically, the answer to your question, why not water? Because Grignard reagents will react with water to make an alkane. Realistically, if you put solid magnesium in water, there is a slow reaction going on there where the magnesium reacts with the water to make magnesium hydroxide. That's actually a single displacement reaction. If you're being asked this question, it's probably not what your professor was going for, but I'll tell you anyways, if you put magnesium with water, there's a single displacement reaction that makes magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. You know, just a little side reaction. You're losing magnesium when you don't have to. In a lab, you don't want to waste stuff because it gets expensive, etc., etc. Long story short, you need it in ether because the Grignard reagent will not react with ether the same way it will react with water. It'll make the alkane, which is basically useless for all the reactions that Grignards are actually good for. Cool? Hey! I love you, you love me, etc., etc. Best of luck.